Giga Texas is 46% complete, and the birthplace of your Cybertruck is getting back up to speed. Welcome to My Tesla Weekend. The freeze really slowed things down, and the workers had more to deal with uh, than problems on the site. They had their own homes and families to tend to and care for, but it appears things are really getting back up to speed. Yes, Giga Texas really is 46% done, and despite the delays, it looks like it's going to be finished this year and producing vehicles even sooner. There's been new foundation work, quite a bit of new steel, and all that is captured in this week's tracker update, but there's a lot of work that hasn't been captured. Things like work on the electrical switchyard, interior HVAC and flooring, and grading on other parts of the site that aren't taken into account, but that's fine. They don't impact the overall estimate. If you want to build a hotel or factory or warehouse, you don't need to know every last item that's being installed to know roughly what it's going to cost per square foot. And this zoomed out perspective should similarly get us awfully close to the right figure. I'm not showing any progress or status for buildings beyond the primary Mega Emerald because we haven't seen any plans and we don't know what's being built. But as ground is broken elsewhere on the site, I'll tack those on as well, track those separately as soon as we can see what they are. I'll show the week by week chart in a minute, but for now, let's take a look at the site map for the progress as of today or more accurately yesterday, since my computer is giving me endless trouble. And now let's roll it back and watch it go by week by week. You may want to rewind this part a few times to really get the full majesty of it all. The orange is footings, the gray is frames, the dim gray is rough roofing segments, and those scant few blue squares you see indicate dry-in segments. They're not dry on all four sides, but they have a roof, a wall, and adjacent wall segments as a buffer from the elements. I'm only counting the areas away from those elements as dried in and at a 45 degree angle from there. In Shanghai's phases one and two, the time from dry-in to completion was about four months, and Berlin appears to be on the same schedule as of the video I made a, a while back showing, <laughs> showing some interior drone footage that is no longer allowed. If you haven't done so already, please consider slapping the video with a thumbs up if you like it, or, you know, a thumbs down if you don't, and subscribe so you can see more of these and give similar thumbs of various directions. Hey man, that would be great. I appreciate it either way. I'm just glad you're here. These scant handful of completed interior segments today count for 0% of the progress anyhow you count them. They'll increase by 1 16th over time, uh, over the coming 16 weeks, until each of these six squares hits 100% or 0.3% of the interior completion progress. Yes, I'm taking it very slow. It's a very cautious approach to it, and adding 0% today I think is appropriate, and so is adding 0.3% to the total in the next four months. It's not going to amount to much each week, but next week we'll see some more squares, and those will start counting, and some more each week after that, and pretty soon you're talking real progress. Spare me five seconds to thank my Patreons, who enjoy bonus content, early access, and support my continued efforts for as little as a buck a month. I can't do it without you guys. So let's take a look at the estimated date of completion as of 46% done. Giga Texas is on pace for 488 days since groundbreaking with completion on or about 11-22 of 2021, November 21st, with 24% single floor, 61% two floors, and 15% with three or more floors. 
Not a bad Thanksgiving treat, though a site like this will never be completed, as we've seen in Fremont, Giga Shanghai, Giga Nevada, and Giga Berlin, which, by the way, Giga Berlin just broke ground on a new piece of uh, land this week. Link in the description. Check it out. It's, it's pretty wild. And if we look at the graph over time, we can see just how flat it's gotten due to the ice storm. Assuming you ignore the artificial bump from a math error on the footings count, let me know if you guys want me to go back and correct all that, because I can. I just don't want to mislead you into thinking I never made the mistake in the first place. And I just think that the progress is going to move so quickly that it's going to become kind of irrelevant kind of quickly. I expect the final date will grow sooner over the coming months, since interior work is well underway even in advance of being considered in the math. The massive southwest prairie is about to embark on an adventure of rapid steelwork, and in the northwest corner, I think we'll see it's going to be half covered in foundations in the next two or three weeks. Barring another natural disaster on par with the freezes and floodings of biblical proportions we've seen so far, I expect the completion of Giga Texas will exceed 93% before Halloween. So what did I miss or misunderstand? Give me an earload in the comments. Stay tuned, stay juicy, and I can't wait to hear from you clever robots on the busy side of the highway.